Hello and welcome back to Sly Raccoon. I'm Octoax and this is Sly Raccoon. We're gonna jump right back in from the last episode and watch this cutscene. It had been a while since I'd been back in the US. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. The neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. A rocky start. Hmm. Puns. I like it. Okay, so that was Mugshot, huh? A bulldog that wasn't quite a bull. I don't know if you noticed, but the movie Mugshot was watching was the dog father. Obviously, a parody of the godfather. I always thought that was so clever and so fun. I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, Liebeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Oh, this character interactions, man. So yeah, from the last chapter we got from Raleigh, we got this super cool move. We can land on spots that are that thin. That I was always liked about these games too. That like you finish one section and you get the pages back and you actually get a new move then too. Uh, but in the latest series there are more ancestors than shown in these game in this game. Uh, like the newest one that uh, I think Zenzaro Games developed, I think that's their name at least, uh, wasn't as well received. I think it was a great game. I loved it because uh, you could play as some of the ancestors in the chapters. Okay, wait. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Ah. Okay, hello there, friend. But you can play as some of the ancestors and have their special moves that Sly can't learn. So that is also very cool in my opinion. The latest in high tech security. Electronic Laser floors and you're a gutter. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Yeah, okay then, thank you for that very vague explanation, Mentley. Okay, I see a lot of balls down there. How do I get down there? I went too far, apparently. Okay, thank you, bottle. Just have to go back. To get them bottles, man, to get the pages. Get the pa okay! I just realized something. The plot of this game is vaguely the same as in Slender. You collect pages to win the game. I, I what? Oh, I can't get back. Oh, screw that noise! Wait, can I? No, I can't. Oh, damn it! Can I restart the level? 
Oh, I have to come back. Damn it! I don't know if I have to collect all the bottles to get. You know what? I'm just gonna run through this level, and we'll do an extra level in this episode. Cause I always, I only thought we'd, we'd make this the, the cutscene and the thing in the, in the in this level, because there, as I remember, there's quite a lot of bottles in this. I, I should go for the bottles then. Man, I see bottles. I just wanna collect them. Okay, I hate this guy because he's like, "Hey, fuck you with the kids." I got royal flush, and you're gonna die by it. Well, guess what, sir? I have a cane with your name written on it. Oh yeah, taunt me, bitch. Ta okay then. Wait, can I break this? No. Thought I could break that fence like those badass dogs. So basically, the enemies in this um, stage are just dogs. They're all dogs. But why do some dogs? There's something very weird about this. Cause in the last level we talk, I talked about the crabs being like weird because they are like aren't wearing clothes and being like standing up straight. In this level we just met some dogs tied up to like a stick. I mean, as regular dogs would, so they won't run away. And why do some dogs get to like run free and have intelligence while other dogs don't? That's weird, in my opinion. Maybe it's only me, but I find it. It's like the same aspect as Disney. I mean, Goofy. Goofy's a dog, but Pluto is also a dog. What's the difference between them? I mean, one has intelligence, at least a little. Enough to talk and wear clothes and stand up straight and stuff. And the other one's just a pet. It's Mickey's pet. Pluto's Mickey's pet. So that doesn't even make... That always bugged me about Disney. That right there. I just had problems with that. I, I, weird things bother me, man. Don't judge me. <coughs> I'm sorry if the coffee's bothering you. Can't do anything about it. Mesa City is a big place. Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some burn. Fly. Now you just I, I, I think that was a burn. Break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Hint, hint. We got to release the thing with the keys again. Okay. Attack with that. Oh, good shit. I pressed the wrong button. Great. Just fan freaking tastic. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm I'm still recovering, man. Can't do anything about okay, don't shine your flashlight in my face, man. I'm not the convict here. You're Yar Yar You are. Okay, let's go this way. I always I always do like levels from either left to right or right to left. In the first uh, level, I always did them left to right, as I did in this last play, and in this, I always go uh, from right to left for some reason. I don't ask me why. It's just something I do. I, I'm weird in that sort of way. I think about weird stuff, man. I'm fucked up in my head. So what do I do? Oh, this is interesting. This is fun level. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. We, we have to guide Murray to the key I'm with this blaster. And, have to, and since Murray's a big pussy in this game, we have to kill all of the enemies with the rockets. Which can be annoying. And we can't hit Murray because then he'll die. Obviously. Thanks, Murray. He's so fat. No. Okay, hello, sirs. No, don't touch my friend. Uh, it's very, like... It zooms in at will. I can't control when it zooms in or not. So sometimes it just zooms out and then I get a really, like, broad sight. And other times I just... 
get not enough no. of a broadside. Okay, I have to const I'm sorry if my commentary is like very vague, uh, vague in this stage, but I really have to constant dead. Constant dead. Yeah, you can't hit those barrels because then Murray will die. Great, huh? Let's do it, Sly. Oh, there you go. Yikes. Don't do it again. Yikes. Keep it up. Okay. My little friend Mari. I'ma save your ass from Okay. I don't get it, cause in the other games he's such a badass. He can take big, take out big anim enemies with, with two hits, with his fists. Maybe it's because he doesn't have his gloves in this game. That might be it. His gloves of power and destruction. Mm, even more death than I could possibly empower him with. What? I English, man. I can't even speak it. Okay. Oh. Headshot. That's the word I was looking for. I'm halfway there. I'm halfway there. No. Oh, I tried to trick you there. Oh. No. Don't do it. It's a brain. Ah, hi, Murray. Okay, doggy, doggy, no. Don't do it. Oh shit! All right, we have sprinters now. We have sprinters. Almost there. Yes, but still. Spr oh, okay. No, don't you dare shoot me, friend. Sprinters, sprinters. Okay, you got it. You got it, Murray. I'm freaking out right now. Thank you. Oh god. That that gnaws on you, man. Oh, uh, Murray, how we love thee. How we love thee. Uh, I think we have time for another level. Let's do it. This video might be running a little longer, but hey. Fuck that, right? Okay, this guy's back. Don't touch his face. Don't touch his face. Boneyard. Boneyard is ready. It's bone saw, but whatever. Okay, I think that's the switch. So this is a casino level. Nice I like it. In, but look out for those a sneaky, sneaky. No, I can't get up there. Obviously. Okay, can I sneak up on these guys and be like, "Bitch, please." No. Oh shit. All oh, right. Oh, it's like an alarm. They whistle. They whistle. Dogs come to whistling. I forgot about that. That's how dogs work, man. Shit. You can't have to hit them before they see you. No, they were still running. The music gets like so freaking intense too. When you get spotted. Run past these bitches. Don't do it. Don't whistle again! Damn it! Oh, this is hard. Okay, I got them all. Good, because there was bottles here and I didn't want to miss them. Okay, we're back on track. If you destroy these slot machines, you get a lot of coins. 
And as you can see, I need it because horseshoes, and God knows I need them. And flashing laser floors, they're always nice. I think there's some bottles. Oh, it's not a horseshoe, thank Lord, you know I need you. Point. Okay. You don't really need to avoid these guys, you just have to punch them in the face. So that that's that's no problem. Okay. And bottles of booze, bottles of booze. How I love these bottles of booze. Because they have coins in them. I don't have an alcohol problem, okay? I barely drink it. At all. Okay, I don't drink alcohol. I don't take meth either. Mom, stop! Stop, mom! I don't take meth, okay? God, stop nagging me, man! I sound, I sound a little bit like Leo from that 70s show right there. Uh, I love that show. Who doesn't? I mean, I uh, fuck the guy, the main guy, whatever his name is, that, like, tried to be Venom and Spider-Man and couldn't. Yeah, fuck that guy. But the rest of them, I like him. Especially Danner Ma Danny Masterson. I like him, because he's always cool. He's on that semi-new show, Man at Work, which... I enjoyed the first two seasons, but then it kind of went downhill, in my opinion. The first season was awesome, because then it was like, uh, Danny Masterson's character Milo was like, getting out of a breakup, and yeah, words happen, and you get shot in the face by a doggy. And then you punch the doggy in the face, and there we have him. The big man himself, Mugshot. Let's punch his feet. If you punch his feet, you get a lot of points. Oh, he's card guy again, hey, fuck you. Oh, shit. I wasn't close enough. There you go. Uh, okay. Alright, now we get to the real best part of the level. Really tough platforming. Who who would design a casino like this? With water on the this this is like this is made for mugshot. Basically made a level for me to like jump past with my awesome platforming skills. I mean, what other motive could he have for like who would? It's impossible to play casino games on this. I mean, it's all full of water. Maybe it's on the construction. Maybe some accident happens. Somebody got a little drunk and play with the water dispenser a little too much and didn't know that everything in this world drowns in water. Oh my god, I can't believe I made that. Okay, now we get to the real hard part. Oh, Canada. La 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 words. Okay. Okay. Jumping skills. They're coming in handy. Okay. There you go. Did we? Did I miss five bottles? I missed three bottles, didn't I? I missed two bottles, didn't I? Hey. <sighs> Well, I will guess I'll get them off. I'll get the first one off screen and show them in the end of this episode. And after I've said goodbye and ta taken my farewells, I'll show them Sly, what you get from them. But but you gotta go face, Bentley. You gotta go face. You got to go face. I go face to face to face to face to Sonic. He can really move. Sonic. He's got attitude. Sonic. He's the fastest thing alone. And that's it. That was long episode. Over 20 minutes. First video of this series that is over 20 minutes. I really have to plan this out better. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Sly Raccoon.
don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all of that fun stuff and I'll see you in the next one.